Yeah. From the BART train to a tour bus. Still the same game except I pull in more sluts, more butts, more bucks, never giving more. Hello, it's your boy Onich underscore TV three and three. And before we get into the videos, please make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell to get updated on recent videos and live streams. Give the video a thumbs up and comment down your opinions. The awesome video is about to pop up right now. Hello, it's your boy Onich underscore TV three and three. And what I'm going to be showing you guys today is how to become better at World War II. I have made many compilations of this, so if you want to check those out, please check those out. I made uh, how to become better at Call of Duty Black Ops 2, even though it was kind of trash. You can check that out. Um, I made a how to become better at Call of Duty Black Ops 3 and how to become better at Call of Duty Infinite Warfare. So far, Infinite Warfare has been my best one. It can help you on both sides, even though Infinite Warfare ha do have jump shot. I mean, just do have thrust and Black Ops 3 do got thrust. If you don't, you know, do that. If you don't thrust jump, then um, you can still use these tips along the way. So also but we're now talking about world war ii so one way to get better at world war ii or you know call of duty in general or any first person shooter to practice i mean one way to practice is you can use bots or you can use real people i'm about to show you the way to do it with bots this helped me tremendously you should also try it out so what you would do is what you would do is go to a custom game, go to TDM or um, Free Fall. I recommend Free Fall because it's more um, gunfights you would get into. So if you was to go to Free Fall, go to Standard uh, Free Fall. Pick your favorite map. My favorite map is USS Texas so far and Dumont. But uh, I, I choose this. Um, then go to game settings, go to rules, time unlimited on both TDM and, um, um and, uh, free fall. Score unlimited for both free, um, TDM and free fall. So, um, do not te tweak the health. If you want to, you could do that listening to other YouTubers. I just don't prefer to do that. Um, but um that's how you would practice you'll go against bots um i recommend 10 bots for free fall and 10 bots for uh for tdm so do not go over that that limit because then it'll be overwhelming and i recommend everybody play on veteran if you if you're not that good to handle veteran I only recommend going down one notch, which is hard. But if you're too, if you're doing pretty well and hardened, like pretty well, pretty decent, you know, like a 1.0 or anything arranged around that range, then I will bump it up to hard to veteran because you need to experience, you know, that high level, you know, in order to become better. So if you practice under those standards, then you'll become better. Period. Um also um another way is button stick layouts your button stick layout is very important so what you would do is go to control settings go to button stick layout tactical bumper jumper is they have put tactical bumper jumper in world war ii so you can this is literally the best um, button stick layout for World War II and Infinite Warfare and Black Ops 3 if you play those so I don't know if they have it in um, Black Ops 2 or Black Ops 1 yet but um because I don't play those games no more but for now for Infinite Warfare Black Ops 3 and World War 2 these are the best um unless you have a scuff controller and paddles then this wouldn't matter too much but i still recommend this for people who got regular controllers go go to tactical bumper jumper is better than stick and move i don't know if they yet yeah, they got stick and move in here the reason why this is better 
tactical bumper jumper is better than stick and move is because of this. You jump with your R3, which is the, your right, you know, which you use to uh, jump and, uh, and jump shot. So you can't drop shot with that weapon, by the way. So, I mean, so you can't drop shot with your thumb pad. So you would have to drop shot with, oh, which you would have to take your hand off and you wouldn't be able to adjust your aim and, you know, shoot and aim and adjust your aim at the same time. So you would have to move your, take your hand off your, um, uh, your adjust, your adjusting R3 basically to drop shot and you you know you'll have to just hold down the shoot button while you know while if they looking at you so and jump shot and the drop shot is everything in call of duty so um instead of that you can use tactical bumper jumper which l allow you to drop shot with your r3 aka adjust aim stick i guess you can say um and you can still have your hands on the jump button and down sight and still shoot at the same time so i can drop shot aim and adjust my aim and still shoot and i can jump shot and adjust, uh, aim and adjust my aim at the same time so that's why this is better um if you flipped is better but um i just don't prefer it because the reason why flip is better because um the l1 and l2 has better you know you don't have to push down so far on a regular controller unless you got a scuff controller if you got a scuff controller most likely you're gonna have you will buy uh, trigger stops so um r3 r2 and um l2 takes longer to shoot but if you was to move it to l1 and r2 i mean r r1 then it will become you can you know aim and shoot better i just prefer mines at l2 r2 you know i need trigger stops but you know you gotta buy a scuff gun for that so <laughs> and i don't want to do that but uh it, me i recommend uh um, enabling flips but me i just can't do it and you know i'm just gonna rock with that so sensitivity also let's go into that uh, most people I mean, if you're a hardcore player, most likely you want to run a, run a fast sensitivity. I'm a high sensitivity, but me, um, I recommend probably like an eight, 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 or you know, eight something, or seven, seven, or you know, around that range. But for core players and competitive players, um, I recommend around four, four, five, five, or six, or even six, six. You know, six, six is a little bit overdoing it, but at least. Five, five, I say five five is a good range um, um, I recommend for when you're practicing under custom games please please disable um, what I would like to do when I'm in my custom game um, what I like to do is disable aim assist rotation actually no yeah yeah aim assist rotation basically that helps you. every time you in um, a public match or call it to any any game mode you know every time you go over somebody and they move your um weapon automatically moves a little bit um when they move so i recommend turning this off enabling aim assist slowdown and um enabling auto uh, weapon switch because these don't you know help you i mean aim assist slowdown help you adjust your aim i mean it slows down your uh aim and all that but you know it's not you know your aim can still be sloppy with it so i mean it helps you but it's not on a, a you know a tier of you know moving your controller by itself you know so i recommend ta uh, taking this off for 100 kills and then putting it back on after 100 kills so what you would do when you go into custom games you would go up to 100 without or go to go to at least 70 at least 70 kills without aim assist rotation then turn it back on do another 70 or 100 i recommend 100 then you'll go on to something like multiplayer and, and try it out you know but don't don't disable aim assist rotation with multiplayer people.
so don't confuse that turn off vibrations also um i recommend enabling uh hustle sprint cancel but if you don't run hustle sprint um you don't have to you know but i also re um really think y'all should disable auto man so i literally have died a few times with this on you know like it, i'll be right in front of something and it'll make me jump on to it and it would cause me to die when i'm shooting at somebody so i disabled it you can disable it that's what i recommend um also so we're done with the button stick layouts please try out those followings um another thing hello and now guys we will i will be talking about how to practice with tactical bumper jumper hello guys and now that we are um, this is how you can use the tactical bumper jumper so you go against 10 bots put them on recruit and what you want to do is jump shot or drop shot every kill jump shot drop shot every kill Every single kill. This is how you get used to it, you know. Get used to jump shot and everywhere, you know. Get used to drop shot and everywhere, you know. Get used to it. It's gonna take you a while to get used to it, but this will at least help you get used to, you know, jump shot and drop shot. I recommend it on, you know. How fast you learn how to get used to it. So jump shot every kill. I'ma go up to 10 just to make it. And we're done. So please try that out. Jump shot. Like go up to 100. At least every day. Um, getting used to tactical bomber jumper. That's the easiest way to do it. shotting every kill learning how to drop shot with it you know that's how you get used to tactical bumper jumper now another way of getting better at call of duty is buying items such as scuff controllers with trigger stops um control freaks uh paddles on the back of your controller which you could buy at gamestop um and better headsets those items will help increase your game tremendously um the scuff controller with the trigger stops will help you because you can aim faster you can shoot faster than most people um because it's a few seconds that people have to do they a they react to it and then they push the button your reaction you can react to it and push your button way faster than they can with trigger stop so please check that out control freaks me i'm i'm like at first i wasn't a fan of tr uh, control freaks but once i learned how to uh <laughs> learn that they are very helpful like i didn't really need them for infinite warfare or stuff like that but for world war ii i really needed them um so and i when i first bought my control freaks i had them backwards so i had the um part with all the dots and you know grippy grippy parts of the dots that's supposed to be on your left hand side and the one where it's smooth with four dots um that's supposed to be on your right hand side so most so you supposed the right hand stick is supposed to have the four dots with your control freak and the other side is supposed to have the one the side with all the dots on there um so please you know switch around your stuff and you know if you actually made that mistake like me the paddles on the back you, know, you can get paddles on the back of your controllers me i don't like doing that but if you want to you can i would rather just buy a, sc a scuff controller or if you got money you know just buy the paddles uh, instead of buying a control i mean a scuff controller with trigger stops which would be better um a better headset now me i use regular headphones these are pretty decent but you know people who got amazing headsets can hear you 10 times better because the headsets is way better headphones is decent but 
when you actually get a real good headset, you can tell the difference, you know. You can hear everything more clearer, and, you know, it's way more loud, you know. And it kind of tunes out everything in the, on the outside of you know, I guess that's kind of good and bad at the same time. Say it's Owl's Fire. <laughs> you might, you know what I mean? I get, you can hear, I'm, I guess I'm over-exaggerating. <laughs> you can hear the, you know, smoke alarm. But still, when you, when you know, you concentrate it, it's kind of hard to hear when you got that. But what you got, when you got regular headsets, you can hear everything in the background. You know, people talking is a little bit more loudly. It's less, it's harder to focus. Let's put it like that. Um, but other than that, let's go straight into number six. Another way of getting better at Call of Duty is creating your class. You want to have a perfect setup for your class. So, so let's get into it. I'm only going to be going over two um, guns: the ST, the FG42, and the PP. SH41 but I should be making I will be covering the other guns so if I did make the video already it should be popping up right now but if I haven't I would just you know oh well I'm just gonna be only going over these two guns to make it a short short you have regular headsets you can hear everything in the background you know people talking is a little bit more loudly it's less it's harder to focus let's put it like that um but other than that let's go straight into number six another way of becoming better at call of duty is your class setup so most people mess up when it comes to class setups but me um i'm gonna show you how to do this I'm actually going actually sorry let's start over hello another way of getting better at Call of Duty is creating your class you want to have a perfect setup for your class so so let's get into it I'm only going to be going over two um, guns, the ST, the FG42 and the PP SH41, but I should be making, I will be covering the other guns, so if I did make the video already, it should be popping up right now, but if I haven't, I would just, you know, oh well i'm just going to be only going over these two guns to make it a shorter video okay so the fg which i believe is the best gun in the game the ppa sh is the second best gun in the game according to most pros um but what i would do is i'm gonna go over the ppa um sh first so most people don't need um a reflex sight for their their um, PPSH but me I prefer one so if you do actually need that you can rock uh, grip and reflex sight or if you like um, yeah uh, grip and reflex sight you don't have to have quick draw or you can rock grip and quick draw without if you don't need the sight or you can run um, reflex sight and quick draw which you know I prefer better you know less recoil so I would usually always have grip and you know so but you know the the good the best setup for this is quick draw and grip if you know but if you actually need like need that um reflex sight then I recommend then grip or you could just go grip and reflex sight either or if you don't want to rock infantry which gives you um an extra mag and a higher faster you move faster while aiming out sight and, and you get the knife beat. so me i don't reckon you know i mean i mean if you don't need the reflex sight which is awesome i recommend changing your infantry to um airborne or or armored 
but I per you know prefer arm I mean airborne but arm is pretty good especially for our uh, hard point capture the flag and where people just throw flashes or uh, well people throw flashes and nades all day long so so if you're playing something competitive or you know I recommend arms if you plan something like pubs airborne all the way you know so as for that always have hustle on the SMG that's just me and or you can have forager forager where are you let's see forage my bad um, forage supplies bullets from killed enemies and swap weapons faster for SMG most likely you are run out of ammo quick so unless you're playing you know um, competitive then you know you, you don't matter what weapon you use you will be godly but uh forge is the second that I mean I recommend getting forage over I mean me I prefer hustle because it makes me faster it, it makes me aim faster in my head but if you don't want to use if you don't depend on hustle you can use forage because it's more like more it's more it's better so for the PPSH I would recommend airborne with big draw and grip secondary always been a machine pistol unless you want to try on change one of these weapons into a fully automatic I always recommend quick draw um, more steady aim more likely quick draw than the other one um, always most people run nades on here because you know they can hold it and you know insta kill somebody if they time it out uh, correctly me I never been good at that so me I usually use this the N74 ST so you know I recommend if you are good at throwing frag use the lethal but me if you're like me then you can use the N74 so that's that the FG which is the god gun okay so what I use is infantry and scoped now the re you know most people say um, you see this is uh, it's a division overlap but even though it's a division overlap and um, I don't think it worked for competitive but for pubs you can still you can still see the difference so let's see the so let's show let me show you this so I'm gonna take this off of scoped and we're gonna see how fast we walk with infantry just infantry which helps you aim down your sight faster so let's go to So now let's put scoped on there. This is infantry plus scoped, so it makes me even 10 times faster. So watch. This. Way, faster. way, way faster. So at first I thought. First, I thought you know that overlap mean it wouldn't work, but only for competitive will it not work. So scoped and infantry, that's the best. Um, what I recommend for pubs is grip, quick draw, and rapid fire. Um, if you don't, if you don't, you know, prefer, if you need a, a sight, what I would do is get rid of rapid fire and rock the red site or if you like this site the 4x optical you can use that but this is the best setup for me um i don't need a site on it because the site is already awesome itself but if you need one you can take off rapid fire so scoped makes you aim faster than outside infantry makes you aim faster than outside it gives you an extra mag mag width the um 
FG actually needs because they only have 20. You know? They really do need more. So, that's the FG and the PPSH, me going over those two classes. If, like I said, if you want me to see go over the other classes, I will be making a video on that and, you know, covering those. Another thing that can make you better is jump shotting and drop shotting. So, drop shotting, jump shotting and drop shotting has been everything for Call of Duty, and we all know this, okay? So, one way of improving your jump shotting and drop shotting abilities is to one switch, like do all the things that I've previously said, change your bit button stick layout. Um, use a scuff controller or the paddles on the back, you know, which most scuff controllers have So you can use a um, You can either buy the paddles from GameStop and or buy a scuff controller um, with uh, paddles and or use tactical bumper jumper, which I recommend is the best so Always jump shot and drop shot. So if there's somebody you're right, like let's get it started. So say it's somebody right here and I know they're there because they shot somebody else. I can jump shot like that, you know, and that will make me ten times better. Or say it's somebody right here, they pre aiming me, and they start shooting. I can drop shot and you know, because a, a target that is moving is always the hard, you know, the hardest to hit. So you actually drop shot faster with um, a scuff controller than tactical bumper jumper. But you know, you don't really need a scuff controller to jump shot and drop shot better. So always, always jump shot and drop shots with tactical bumper jumper. Just, just get it. Just, just practice with. If you just can't get used to it, then just use stick and move, which is exactly the best option. But I always recommend trying out that or getting a scuff controller. Either or. That's those are be good options to get a scuff controller. Um, you can just get used to that with the jumper and or get used to it. That's me. better is to preempt. So okay one way on of getting you know better at Call of Duty is to most likely I see people do this as well. And they start aiming at somebody, right? But what you want to do is pre aim as far as people. I'm not saying pre aim at all places, right? I'm just saying pre aim as spots that you know people come from mostly. So I know some that's the part of you know remembering areas of the game, so you know spots of the game. So I know somebody can come from Already. I didn't have to see them. So, I, so what you can do is pre aim. So what I'm doing is I'm from other people. I can make them. This is the first spot people can come from me. I'm not gonna go straight out right here because most of the people hate me at once. So I, I kind of limit that area by coming up to here and you know aim at this. <laughs> Making sure every spot is clear before I move on. So bam, bam, checking my areas, you know, before I move on. Limit every spot so people can instead of coming right here, I came right here, you know, to limit areas to watch. You can watch my back when you do this. Check your back, man. Keep moving forward. Check out the whole area. You know, it increases your awareness and lowers your chance of getting shot in your back. So, 
I see some, I see that person that's shot from my back. Okay, my whole area is gonna flinch. Another thing, another way of, um, Ball banging, flinching, slash shoulder peeking. Most people call it shoulder peeking. Shoulder peeking is this, right there. Um, most people use it to bait you know, other people to where their teammates kill them. But me, I call it flinching. So you flinching your body out. Um, what I used to like to do when I was in, back in Black Ops 1 and Black Ops 2 was um, do that flinch to wall bang so what I would do is line them up right here and then I'll go behind the wall and kind of adjust my aim to the right a little bit so That's one way of winning gunfights versus people, you know, is punching and shoulder people. Ah! Very awesome. Um, so please try it out. Also, ah! Call of Duty is knowing the spawns. So, I noticed that most people don't know the spawns. So, way of usually wherever somebody... They're going to be on the opposite side. That's that's just literally how easy it is. So, so if I'm resing here, I know for sure that the enemy is resing on the other side and coming this way. They coming forward. So now I know that they resing over there. Here. So when you have a teammate that's all the way in they spawn and you got you resing from your spawn, <coughs> most likely you're resing from your spawn, but. If it sees in their spawn, it's gonna flip the spawns and somebody, like, if there's not too many players in your spawn, they'll start resonating on your spawn and they shoot you in the back. That's lit. If somebody push up too far, you to check if you're in the spawn to watch your back. You can shoot in your back. Those are the ways of actually trying to get a let, let me repeat all the uh, um, options again. Practice. Go to custom game. Jump shot 100. Uh, well, tactical bomber. And getting uh, um, control freaks or, or scuff controller if you got money or paddles in the back of your regular controller if you got money. Go to practice and custom matches. Go to football or TDM. Don't camp like I'm just, you know, doing this so it's easier to explain and kind of shoot up at the same time. Go to a custom game, go to 100 and have uh, 100 kills without I recommend jump shot in every kill so you can get used to um, you know adjusting your aim as you jump shot and, and because aiming and jump shot and drop shot is the best way to, um, to do it. You know, it's the best way to make yourself so jump shot every kill or jump shot every kill. Jump shot, drop shot every kill to 100 without auto.
following. Create you a better class. Um, like I said, create, um, I'm going to do another video. Jump shot and then drop shot and with that. Yeah, that's only two times you use that. Fire on him, fall down! Uh, you just can't do it if you're like me and you can't do it. You know, you don't really need it. So if you got a play call, you don't need it. Um, pre-aiming, so not, don't pre-aim while everywhere, which makes you, you know, slower. Um, pre-aim just spots, you know, people come down, because, you know, that is the spots that you need to worry about, so. You know, pre-aiming the spots that people, you know, I want to move faster, you know, I don't want to take all day just covering one area, you know. So, pre-aiming the spots that I know people you know. Watch my back at the same time. So if you can in that area, going fast, make sure it's clear. Check my back. Um, the area that I know people can come from. Jump shot in every kill, drop shot in every kill. I like uh, jump shot more than drop shot. And knowing the spawns, I know the spawns already, so you know you guys can perfect that. You could even even test out the spawns so if somebody puts that spawn that the spawns can that theory out if you want to. You are already know the theory. 